What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz. There's nothing wrong with your audio. I'm just being goofy. Uh, August 24th, 2024. A little 24, 24. Twin, twin, twin. Mm-hmm. All right. Giving you my offensive depth chart for the Buckeyes. We haven't updated that in quite some time, so let's do it today. First, though, I do want to update you on um, this weekend's show, the Sunday night show. Sunday night show is moving to Monday night, same time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, but on Monday night. Uh, Jeff and Sean are gallivanting around uh, this great country of ours, and uh, so they're not going to be available Sunday night. So Sunday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, is moved to Monday night. Sunday is Monday. Sunday is Monday. Hopefully I banged that into your head hard enough. That's what she said. Hey, oh. Um, uh, please, as always, I uh, ask you to like and subscribe on the videos. Um, and if you're following on podcasts, let me know if you're having trouble with Apple Podcasts, if you're having trouble loading the show, any of any of my shows. Um, I've had issues personally, so let me know if you're having trouble. Uh, but please follow the show, leave a review. I would love that. And uh, it helps other people find the show. That's most important, right? We're trying to get up to 3,500 here by the weekend. Next weekend, I'm not sure it's going to happen, but uh, hey, we gave it a hell of a run. We'll just wait longer. All right, so we're talking uh, offense. This is your 2024 depth chart for this Buckeye offense. You got to start it off with the quarterbacks, right? This is pretty cut and dry for now. For now. Um, Will Howard, fifth-year dude, is your quarterback one. He is your guy. Now, number two right now is Devin Brown in his third year. Um, They named Will Howard uh, your starting quarterback last week. Uh, Brown is the number two right now, but Julian Sands is going to battle with Devin for that spot all season. Uh, Could Brown and Sands split second team reps at some point during the season? That's a big question to ask. Um, I think think they will at some point. But when, you know, when the game started, you got to focus on getting that that second quarterback ready to play that week because you never know, you know, one broken shoelace or busted chin strap on Will Howard and and Devin or Julian is going in there, so uh, that'll be interesting to see. Um, next up, running backs. Now, you can't really you got to say that Travion Henderson and Quinshawn Judkins are the starters. It's one of those either or one of those or situations like Herb used to do on the on the depth chart. Trey slash Quinshawn is your starter. Number two, number two guy in is James Peoples, uh, the true freshman. Henderson and Judkins are your starting running backs, but they're going to share carries and snaps probably equally. Uh, but Peoples and Sam Williams Dixon will get some work for sure. Peoples being the third man in in the rotation, um, I see I see Peoples having clo- like over 500 yards rushing this year easily, uh, especially in these first three weeks. He's really going to get some yards. So um, next up, receivers. Um, the starters are pretty cut and dry, straightforward. You know, set in stone. Emeka, fourth year guy. Emeka Buka is your starter at the slot. Carnell Tate, second year guy at the outside. We're expecting a big season from him over a thousand yards, right? Aren't we all? I am. Um, Jeremiah Smith, true freshman, monster, all world, everything at the other outside receiver position. Now, my fourth guy in, in Brandon Ennis, will be backing up a Mecca at the slot uh, in his second year. So I expect big things from Brandon as well. Um, BI, as they call him is a leader. He is, this guy has an, has an awesome personality. I love the energy he brings to the team. Uh, This guy is, I, I, I wish he could stay longer. Maybe we'll get a fourth year out of him. Who knows? But then, uh, so Brandon Ennis will be your fourth man. And I think they're going to rotate four consistently. Then you got Bryson Rogers. I, I had him at the slot personally, but if he can play outside, great. Uh, he's a second year dude um has come on you know a little bit in camp so 
And then Jaden Ballard, your other outside receiver uh, in his fourth year. Now, um, Rodgers really has some – Bryson Rodgers really has some momentum in that fifth spot. And then keep an eye out for Kojo Antwi and Mylon Graham. Um, Dave gave a ton of praise to Kojo Antwi recently. And then uh, Graham just arrived back in June, but he's already pushing for playing time. I don't think it's going to happen early in the season, but I could see midway, you know, through the season after week seven, I think he could get in there in, in some late in, late game snaps. Um, next up, the tight ends. I got Will Kazmarek starting, uh, this fourth year dude. He's got another year of eligibility after this season. And then I got G Scott coming in right after him. G's in his final year. Uh, Ryan Day was close to naming Kazmarek the starter last week. Uh, he said Kazmarek has proven him to himself to be durable and accountable and can be counted on in all phases. Uh, Scott has missed some practice. And uh, Jelani Thurman, who knows, maybe he can make a run at that number two spot. But these guys missing some practice time like uh, Carson Hensman did, uh, it's going to affect them and, and you know, their their uh, starting positions. Uh, and last up, let's go to the O line. Let's go with the starters. I'll give you. I'll go from left to right. Uh, Josh Simmons in his fourth year. Uh, Donovan Jackson at guard, uh, his fourth year. Seth McLaughlin in his fifth year at center. Uh, Tegra Shabola. I got him starting at right guard in his third year, and Josh Fryer at tackle on the right side in his fifth year. Now behind those guys is it's a little bit kind of you know a, a bit of a puzzle still it's still getting put together. I got Fitzpatrick backing up Josh Simmons at left tackle. Now could Fitzpatrick come in for uh, Josh Fryer occasionally? Maybe, but I got Fitzy over there at uh, the backup left tackle. Austin Sarabell, second year guy. Um, he played worked on both guard and tackle in camp when they were down to a, a limited number of, of healthy O linemen. Um, then you got Carson Hensman. I got him backing up McLaughlin at center. Of course, he's in his third year and then at backing up uh, Tegra Shibola at right guard. I got Carson Hensman and Luke Montgomery. One of those two, who knows um, really depends if Hensman is in at center or not, you know, um, then behind Josh Fryer at the right tackle, I got fourth-year guy Zen Maholski. It looks like they're finally seeing something out of Maholski, but um, I realize a starter hasn't been named yet at right guard, but it looks like Tegra has the momentum. Um, and again, Hinsman missed some time due to the, the flu bug that went around through the room. But they also said that Tegra has shown he can be a starting quality player. When the head coach says that, my ear, my ears perk up, and I'm like, okay, that's a that's a a little tip there. So, rest of the starting five is locked up. Uh, watch for freshman Ian Moore, a true freshman. He might push for a spot in the two deep at tackle. Um, so this depth is is far from concrete uh, behind these starters at O line. Um, we know Hensman started the twelve games and would be the next player in at either center or guard. But watch for Sarah Bell. Again, he had a strong camp. And again, he had to play both guard and tackle, which is kind of surprising because he's he's he was penciled in and recruited as a as a guard. But he can play them both, and he just did it here in this fall camp. So that's my Buckeye depth chart on the offense. Um, not a ton of surprises there. The tight ends, you know, Kazmarek coming in as a transfer. Being your tight end one, a little surprising that G didn't take advantage of that. But again, he missed some time, missed some practice. And uh, the running backs are going to be exciting. James Peoples being your third guy in. Uh, I can't wait. And the receivers, of course, you're going to see a lot of Brandon Innes. So think of that as like a three and three and a half starters, basically. So can't wait to see this offense on the field next weekend and uh, looking forward to it. And I'm looking forward to you liking and subscribing this video and commenting. I always reply to the comments, even from cheater fans.
All right. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you later. Go Bucks.